Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, I will show you how to install Magic Info with the MS SQL database. So with an external database. First, we're going to install the MSQL. We are using a 2016 version of the SQL server. Select the basic installation, accept the terms and conditions, and here you can select the location if you want to change it, and you can go through the process. Now we skip through everything to speed the process up a little bit, and once you've done that you can close the SQL installer. Next up is you have to open this SSMS setup. For the SQL Server Management, you can click on Install and it will run as well. Now please make sure to restart your server in order for the installations to be completed. Once you've done that, you can open the Server Management. Here you can select the server name and you can connect the database to it. Once you've done that you can also open the SQL server configuration and this is the configuration manager. First we're gonna go to this tab and enable this option and press OK. And now you can see it's enabled. Now you have to go to services. Right click and restart the server. So once that is done and the server is running, we can go back to the Surface Studio. If we head over to Properties, right here, we head over to Security and select the SQL Server. Hit OK. Hit OK again. And restart the server management studio again. So once that is done, the installation of the database should be completed and now you can install Magic Info Services. So we are using version 8 right here during the installation. Agree with the terms and conditions and select the location. And here you have to make sure to select the MSQL database. Because this is different than the regular Postgres database installation. So once you have selected that, you can skip through the process. Make sure to save these documentations, which is important, and then you can continue with the installation. So once that is done, all files have been installed right now, all three of them. And you can check if the database has been linked to Magic Info Services by opening the Server Management Studio, open the Magic Info tab, open the tables, and here many rows of types of information have been added. 
which confirms that the database has been created. Now if you do not have all those information fields, please reach out to us because something might have been going wrong during the installation. So whenever you've done that, you can now sign into Magic Info Services. So you can try to re reach Magic Info straight away or first restart the server. We're using the default credentials, which are the username admin and the password admin2016. It will ask you to reset the password straight away, which you can do, and go through the steps. And now you can head over to settings, license info, and this is where you can activate your free license. And this is the process for installing an MSQL database server with Magic Info in case you want to use an external database. Thanks for watching.